Hey, what's going on everybody? Lambo here. In today's video, special request, I'm going to teach you guys how to make custom brands and put them on your vehicle. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Now, if you missed the last tutorial where we made a boat, it's kind of a long one. I know some of you probably didn't watch it, but we made a boat from an in-game 3D model. In those comment sections, somebody asked how to make custom brands. So in this video, we're going to cover that. And I'm going to show you some sneaky little tricks. So make sure you stick around towards the end of the video. And don't forget to help a brother out and hit that like button. If you like the content here, also subscribe. Now, there's no reason that this tutorial needs to be eight minutes long. So we'll just get right into it. I have my mods folder up that I was working on yesterday, but I don't have a brands folder. So let's make a new folder. We're going to call it brands. Okay, with that in there, we're going to open it up. In another window, I'm going to track down, and mine is in my Farming Simulator 25 data folder here, where you, you could just open up your Farming Simulator folder, put in brands, and it'll pop up with this folder. This folder has all the brands that are currently in the game, but all we really want is we want to copy one of these and open it up inside of paint.net. Now, I picked the brand Damcon, and I already have it open inside of here. I don't. We're just going to drag it in there. Now, we don't want to save directly to these files. So as soon as you get it in here, just come right up to file. And we're going to go save as. We're going to track down our mod that we're going to be saving it in. And mine is props and paddle. I'm going to go to brands. And under here, we're going to save it as a DDS file. I'm not going to do anything too crazy for name wise, but I'm just going to name it from damn damn con to damn son so hit save these are my save settings that i'm currently using bc3 dtx5 and i'll let you look at all the rest there this seems to work for me now we have our own brand image this is not the in-game one uh, i'm just going to make some quick little edits it doesn't really matter you can as long as it's inside this circle you want to make sure if we go up to image and we go to resize that these are the dimensions 512 by 256 that you want to stick with. Otherwise, you'll get some errors. All right. Now that we got that, let's make some small changes here. I don't know what uh, what font that is, but I'm going to go through right now and remove that part. If you don't know how to use paint.net, do some Googling, do some tutorial watching. I'm just going to hurry up and get this made. Okay. Now that I have it made, I'm going to save my brand again under my brands. Uh, because I have multi layer here, make sure my save type is still a DDS. Direct draw. There it is. We're just going to hit save over that. Yes, I want to replace it. There's my settings. We can flatten it out now. And now we need to tell the mod disk that we have a new brand and we want to do it. So we're going to take this name that we created, Brand Damn Sun. We're going to open up our mod disk from it and this is the code you're going to have. So you'll have brands and then you'll have the individual brands underneath those. So you can put multiple here. Just copy this line and paste it down to the next one like such. But we just got the one for this and we are going to name it. Dang, I'm son. The name that you have right here is uh, like, uh, what is that called? When you call to action, basically, you're going to put this in the store data in the mod XML, and then it's going to display this title. So I will do them a little bit different so you can see how they look. And then we need to tell them where the image is. So the image is going to be under our brands, and then we need to paste that damn on DDS in there. After we have that, let's hit save. We're going to copy this brand name, Damn Sun. I'm going to go to my boat mod that I made yesterday, and we're going to come right here to where it says brand. We're going to paste that in there, hit save, and load it up in game. If you made any errors in your mod disk, you will not find your mod on this screen. Go back to your mod disk, double check everything. You didn't put an extra period, comma, whatever, anywhere. But once you have it found, select it and press start. And now that we're back in the store, you can see down here my boat. It has a new brand called Damn Sun. Let's take a look at it. Perfect, right? Got the little, uh, I've always wanted to do that. And you can see when you very first get in the boat, like right here, you can see that that brand name shows up before the actual name. So the name of this engine is Fast Boat, but the Damn Sun brand name pops up before that. 
yeah, there you go. If you enjoyed this and you want some more tips and tricks on modding, make sure to hit subscribe and don't forget to hit that like on the way out. That way I know I did not waste my time. Look forward to a future boating map from me. You can find details about that about its upcoming release on my Patreon. You guys all have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.